it appears Mike Lindell is already throwing in the towel for part of his big Supreme Court plan. Now, to give you a little recap, he announced that March 15th, on the steps of the Capitol, he was going to be bringing a case to the public, live-streamed. It was going to be massive with tons of new evidence, an amazing case that's going to change everything and get rid of those machines. And then it got leaked that Kari Lake, one of her lawsuits that has already failed multiple times and has even gotten lawyers sanctioned, that is going to be brought to the Supreme Court Friday. That was leaked, and people thought, hmm, maybe that's what Mike Lindell's doing, which is kind of embarrassing. Then it was put out in a press release from uh, Frank's speech that, yes, that was actually the plan. He got laughed at. People found it funny. Suddenly, his lawyers informed him that he shouldn't go to the steps of the Capitol on Friday. Shouldn't go to the steps of the Capitol at all. Instead, they're just going to submit it online. Still going to submit it, but all that big hype and excitement, it's gone. Now, I do have for you, though, I'm going to read to you what they sent out <laughs> before they canceled. It was pretty funny. Dear friend, breaking our case is heading to the Supreme Court. We are not ever giving up. You and I have come so far in a short amount of time, and your support has brought us to this moment. On March 15th, we will be on the steps of the Supreme Court. The attorneys, LOF, will be petitioning SCOTUS for a writ of Sartoria, Sartori, I think that's how you pronounce it, in the Lake v. Fonta's case. You will be able to watch the March 15th press conference live on Frank's speech. Now, we have been given the open door to present our case to the Supreme Court. You will remember that plaintiffs Kari Lake and Mark Fincham brought a case to the Arizona courts to end the machines, and they were told they had no standing. The attorneys appealed, and the case was held up so that we can now go to the highest court in the land. We are presenting even more evidence to SCOTUS. The evidence has never been seen before. It is so explosive, I believe it will change everything. Remember, they're now not even doing this live. This is what we have so patiently been waiting for. The evidence we are presenting has never been seen, and it is so explosive. I believe it's going to be the final straw to end the machine interference in our elections. Just this past week, our great real president was put back on the ballot by the Supreme Court judgment of 9-0. I believe we will see another 9-0 vote. It will be a huge step towards saving our country. I told you, it's really funny, especially reading this now, knowing that they've completely now downplayed it to an online-only live stream talking about submitting the documents online from being physically on the steps. We told you we would not stop, we would not give up, and we would not surrender. No matter how much lawfare, cancellation, invitation, we are not going to stop fighting for our country. Except on that Friday, I guess. This lawsuit is supported by the Lindell Legal Offense Fund. We are all in. Our country is being attacked by open borders, radical socialist policies, and gender ideology being pushed on our kids. Did you vote for this? We are accruing massive expenses for this effort. We have a very short amount of time to pull the needed funds together. Please join us today. Urgent. This is one of the most important lawsuits to ever save our country, and the costs are massive to fund the attorneys and experts we have working on this right now. You are needed today. We have no doubt those will, be, will catapult the effort to get rid of the electronic voting machines in a big way. Do not give up. Keep fighting. We are going to win. Then there's a link where you can give him $250, a link to give him $500, a link to give him $1,000, a link to give him $2,500. And it says, the time to act is now. Stand with us and let's win together. God bless. Mike Lindell. Ooh, that's a lot to unpack, considering that now they're not even going to be on the steps of the Capitol. I think maybe there was a bit of a reality check once people found out what it really was and suddenly no one cared. Um, I'm wondering if maybe he had um, some names that were going to be on the steps with him. And then when they found out it was just Kari Lake, they were like, no. <laughs> if that's the case, it's going to come out later. Um, definitely a sad day for him. He's still trying to make it sound happy. He put out a video like it's an exciting thing. But uh, man, that's a, that's a failure. That's bad. <coughs> Excuse 
excuse me. Um, I try to look to see what this amazing exclusive evidence is supposed to be. And uh, I, I haven't been able to find anything, to be honest. Um, I'll check the Lindell Offense Fun website real quick. And see if he's added anything. Um, the plan... Cause of America, Frank So No. Just the election time... Remember, this is the same exact website he sent people to, I believe. I believe he sent this website to um, people with the uh, WMDs. Okay, okay, here is an update on the front page. March 14th, we are filing with the Supreme Court of the United States. Yes, so here it is. It's an admission again, what it is. After three years of hard work, the Carrie Lake and Mark Fincham Hobbs lawsuit is finally able to be filed with the Supreme Court of the United States. The appeal calls for SCOTUS to write a writ of Sertori, I can't pronounce that. Um, here, uh, there's a little, it's a little different than the other thing, so I'll read this. Um, the lower courts would have thus far refused to address evidence of election manipulation using electronic voting systems. This case started in Arizona, calling for an injunction against the machine featuring Carly Lake and Mark Finch as plaintiffs. This case is very similar to Curring v. Rafsenberg case in Georgia that just went to trial in January. Maricopa County Judge Peter Thompson dismissed the lawsuit initially on the basis of standing and assertions that her claims were speculative. It was appealed to the Arizona Court of Appeals, which affirmed the dismissal. He's admitting it's a failure. An appeal to the Arizona Supreme Court was also denied with the affirmation of the dismissal. The case was then appealed to the ruling to the Ninth Court Supreme Court, the Supreme, Supreme no, Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals, where the dismissal was once again affirmed. It's so hard to go through so much failure without getting tongue-tied. Several of the lawyers hired by the Lindell Offense Fund to pursue the case, which included Dan Dershowitz, were sanctioned as an admission of the sanctions, but the law allows the introduction of additional evidence because the case was dismissed on standing. This new evidence is the most explosive ever. The world can see it Thursday, March 14th, when it is filed with the Supreme Court of the United States. So there you go. Um, just admitting, just admitting. Th that was found live when I was recording the video. Just doing that final check. But he's admitting it's it, it it's failed. How many times is that? One. Oh, well, let's count the Georgia case in this too, because he said it's similar. One, two, three, four. Four, five, five failures of basically the same case. This is feeling like uh, Brunson a little bit, where they just keep filing stuff and it keeps failing, and they keep asking for money and filing stuff and it keeps failing. Anyone remember that still? Is that still going on? Last I heard, it was still going on. <laughs> 